Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 196, Millie's Castle Hassle. Millie is a new narrow gauge engine that works at the Earl's estate at Olfstead Castle. She enjoys giving tours to the passengers, but dislikes how busy and congested the castle can become. Keep the rails clear, she cried one morning. This is no place to stop and chit chat. Then why are there water towers here? asked Gator. We'll be out of here soon enough, added Sir Topham Hat. We just need Logan to show up. Here he is, shouted Hector. Welcome back, Logan. Looks like the other railway has been treating you well. Hello, sir, he replied. Hello, Gator. Hello, Hector. A few months earlier, Logan had gotten into trouble after he had crashed into the Ulfstead mine while chasing after Sailor John. Now, after spending a few months back on the mainland, Sir Topham Hatt was looking to have him return to Sodor. First of all, he said, I want to apologize for my actions a few months ago. It was a stressful time and all. We were preparing for the Christmas party and the introduction of the Earl's new engine, and I didn't give you a proper treatment. No worry, sir, replied Logan. I acted rather foolishly myself. But you didn't, interrupted Hector. Sir, I've told you countless times what really happened at the mine, and... Yes, yes, I know, chuckled Sir Topham Hatt. You already knew this, Logan, but turns out there is something fishy going on with Sailor John. Gator here was also a victim of one of his ploys. Yes, indeed. Captain Callus wanted all of the Christmas decorations for himself. Anyway, I want to invite you back to Sodor, continued Sir Topham Hatt. We have all missed your company dearly, especially Sam. If you need some time to think about this... Oh, I'll be happy to return. Uh, uh, right now, sir, exclaimed Logan. Sir Topham Hatt laughed. Well, that settles it then. Welcome back, Logan. And to all of you, if you see that Sailor John running around, be sure to let me know. He's been rather quiet lately. I hope he's not planning something sinister. Will do, sir, said the three engines. Logan, I have Rosie on cold duty at Crosby today, so find whatever work you can here at the castle. Tomorrow, you'll start shunting again just like before. And Sir Topham Hatt walked away. Logan was ecstatic to be back on Sodor, but whatever work he tried to do at the castle, it always seemed like he was running into the new engine, Millie. Please, keep the track clear, she shouted. Sorry, said Logan. I'm used to working in a tiny yard, not a ginormous castle like this. I keep getting in your way no matter where I go. New engines are so inexperienced, she said to herself. Hey, I'm not new, he protested. Well, yes, I've been away for a while, but now I'm back. And if anyone here is new, then it's you. Millie rolled her eyes. I have passengers to pull. Have fun with those wagons of yours. Someone's a little impatient, grunted Logan. Don't mind her, chuckled Caitlin. Millie's usually very friendly, but I think she's getting a little tired of the crowds at the castle recently. Once you get to know her, you'll realize she's a really nice engine. If you say so, said Logan nervously. The next day, Logan left for his new job and a whole new assortment of engines piled into the castle grounds. Millie couldn't help but feel overwhelmed. It sure is busy here, said Spencer, but it's nothing a private engine like myself can't handle. But Millie didn't respond. I said, it's nothing a private engine like myself. Oh, I heard you the first time. Who cares if you're a private engine? So am I. Oh, really? asked Spencer. That is impressive. I've never met anyone like me before. <laughs> we are quite different, said Millie. Now, if you'll excuse me. Just the opposite. We are very much alike. We private engines have to stick together, you know. Millie rolled her eyes. And how would we do that, exactly? By helping each other out. Making sure we get the proper jobs, of course. Proper jobs? asked Millie. You know, 
passenger pulling, special pickups, more passenger pulling. I already do that, you know. I give tours here at the castle every day. Well then, you're on the right track, said Spencer, figuratively and literally. Ugh, groaned Millie. I have to go. Very well then. Nice to know you're not stuck shunting dirty coal cars somewhere. We private engines could never be caught doing that. Millie looked at Spencer. And what's wrong with shunting coal cars, she asked. I've heard it's the most humiliating job ever, whispered Spencer. That coal dust gets on your paint and it never comes off. And talk about hard labor. Millie thought back to Logan and how eager he seemed to get back to the coal depot. I don't think it's that bad, she replied. In fact, a snooty engine like yourself could learn a thing or two if you stuck your buffers in a place like that. Spencer was appalled at her suggestion. Deary me, he spluttered. If you think it would be a great job, then go move those trucks up there. Show me how a private engine is supposed to handle dirty work. Fine, I will, she replied. But, being a private engine, Millie had never shunted trucks before, let alone pulled them. She was very nervous, but she didn't want Spencer to talk poorly about her friends. Uh, Millie, what are you doing up there? asked Stephen. I don't think the Earl wants you messing around with those dirty things. Yeah, just leave them for Scarloe or somebody else, added Connor. It's no trouble, she replied. I can manage. Good luck, called Spencer. This should be fun. But Millie had no idea what she was getting herself into. As soon as she started moving, the trucks pushed her along the rails. Whoa, slow down, slow down. But the trucks wouldn't stop. There at the back of the castle was Duncan. Stop, Millie, stop, he shouted. Let me take them from ya. But Millie couldn't stop and she thundered down the drawbridge, through the junction and ended up crashing into den and dart. Cold dust billowed into the air. Oh, not the paint, not the paint, squealed Spencer, and he quickly rushed away. My disguise, cried Dart. Den, find me another box, quick. Just then, Logan pulled up with Hector and the rest of the coal train. Those don't look like passengers, he said cheekily. Yes, I thought I would try something new today, moaned Millie. Turns out I'm only cut out for coaches right now. You know what they say, new engines are very inexperienced. Millie couldn't help but smile. The mess was soon cleaned up and she had a much greater appreciation for Logan's job. Those coal trucks aren't something to mess around with, she said quietly. I bet you've had your fair share of spills. Not really, teased Logan. It helps when you have some friendly coal trucks like Hector on your train as well. Well, those trucks were rude, said Millie. They wouldn't stop pushing and shoving me. But those trucks didn't have faces, whispered Hector to Logan. Shh, just let her be, he chuckled. And the two new friends talked about their newfound coal problems long into the night.